ice cream while you and me repeat. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little different than I have in the past. I'm going to be attempting to do a sort of haul video. I've never done one of these before, but I really enjoy watching clothing hauls. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Alright, so the first two things I want to talk about are these two pairs of glasses. Everything that I'm going to be reviewing is from Forever 21, Amazon, and AliExpress. So the first thing is these pair of sunglasses I got on Amazon. Um, they're super cute. They have blue lenses and a brown frame. I uh, actually can't remember the name of the company I bought them from but I will list it in the description bar below. They're really cute and I've been wearing them all the time. I got them for only $10 on Amazon, which is like super awesome. And on Amazon you can also find a lot of dupes for the Keys Australia style sunglasses. And I'm probably gonna order some of those too because they were around 10, 20 bucks as well. And I really like to get inexpensive sunglasses because I'm kind of accident prone and break things and a lot of the higher end sunglasses are really expensive. And I also kind of change my style all the time so it's kind of just better if I'm going to get trendy stuff to just go more inexpensive so that if it gets messed up it's really not the end of the world. Yeah, this is what they look like on. I wouldn't probably wear them with this outfit. I've been wearing them a lot with like just athletic stuff I've been wearing to school. And, uh, yeah, you'd be surprised that with the blue lenses you think they wouldn't match a lot, but they actually look really cool with a lot of the items I wear, and yeah, you can totally see my ring light. I look like I have ring light eyeballs. <laughs> ah, Alright, moving on. The other thing I want to talk about is these, um, they're basically just like fake glasses. I've been seeing a lot of girls on Instagram wear these in pictures, and I thought they looked super cute. And then I got them, and then every time I try to wear them, I feel like I'm just trying to do, like, a bad Harry Potter impression or something. Wow, they're really <laughs> messed up and foggy. I actually haven't worn them since I got them because I just felt like I haven't had a makeup look or hair that paired really... Hair look? Makeup look and hair look? That looked really cute with these glasses on, but I think that the whole idea of just wearing some glasses that just look cute for a show is a really cute accessory. I don't know. I will keep you guys posted if I get a good selfie with these. Just haven't found anything yet. Yeah, I feel like Harry Potter when I wear them. I don't know if it's just because I can't pull them off or what. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Anyways, I've been watching too much Jenna Marbles. They have two hats I want to talk about. So these two hats I've literally been wearing almost every day at school, especially when I'm trying to skip days washing my hair and stuff like that. So I got this one from AliExpress and it's a black hat and it says youth on it. It's actually super cute and I love that it's black so that it matches like everything. Ooh, it has makeup on it. Yeah, I've been wearing it a lot with my athletic clothes and when I go to the gym and stuff like that. I really love wearing it and then tying it in my hair in either a ponytail through the hat in the back or under it or just doing like a low bun with it and I think it's super cute look to do and pulling some hair out. Yeah, I just really like this whole hat trend because then I don't have to actually do my hair and if you know me, you know that I'm like really lazy about doing my hair. I kind of prefer the more just like natural undone style but I did curl it a little bit today. Anyways, I really like this black one. The other thing is this pink hat that I got on Amazon and it is also really cute. I, the only thing I don't like is that it's kind of like flat and doesn't have a lot of shape. I still really like it. And I think this was $10 on there. The other one was only like $3 on AliExpress. And I think they both had free shipping because I have Amazon Prime for being a student. So, yay! Alright, so the third thing I wanted to show is this choker. It's one of those like lace-up chokers that you always see on like Pinterest and stuff like that. And I think that they are so cute, but it literally actually does choke me, so. This is one of the pain in the butt things about this is that you can't just like put it on in the back. You have to actually lace it when you put it on. So it's kind of the most inconvenient accessory on earth, but you know, it's fine. And the other thing about it though is you're gonna see like as I'm lacing, a lot of the pictures show when people wear these chokers that you can see like the divide of where you lace it. You know what I mean? Like it looks like, eh, eh. It looks more like that rather than that. 
But when I put it on, they like bunch together and then it just makes one straight line, which is kind of disappointing. I don't know. I'm probably lacing it wrong, to be honest. I'm not a professional at this. I'm just kind of doing it how I do like like my Converse or something. All right, cool. And then, yeah, you just tie it and it's pretty cute. This was literally, I think I bought this on AliExpress for like 97 cents or something and they all, they, AliExpress has free shipping on every single thing you order. Oh, as I'm joking, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like on. I don't really know if I pull it off. I just feel like it's so wide. I probably would not wear it with this. I probably wear it, this with something that's a little more uh, low neck. That's what it looks like. Pretty self-explanatory. Ow! <laughs> it ran my hair out! And then for clothes, I only have a couple of things that I want to show you guys, so let me grab those. Alright, so the first thing is this long sleeve sweatshirt that I ordered from AliExpress. And I thought it was super cute because it says baby girl, and that's what Kyle calls me all the time, and I thought that was really cute. Yeah, so I got this sweatshirt, and it is literally made of like... I don't even know, but it is like such a thick material, like you touch it and you can tell that it's going to be something when you wear, it's going to make you like sweat to death. So I honestly haven't worn it yet. When I bought it, I honestly didn't look at the material it was made out of because in the pictures they showed, the material looked very soft and like sweatshirt like and I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so comfy to wear around the house. and. Like a wetsuit material, almost kind of like that. No, I tried to look to see if there was a tag that says what it's made out of, and there's nothing inside of it. The only tag that there is is like this tiny little bit of a tag, and it just has small. I would not recommend buying this. This was actually the most expensive thing that I bought out of the entire haul, and it's the thing that I like the least. So, yay! I don't know what number I'm on. This is fourth or fifth. Anyways, I can't keep track. But this is a shirt I ordered from AliExpress for my friend Rebecca and I keep forgetting to give it to her but it's a Sailor Moon shirt and I got it for her because growing up we used to watch Sailor Moon together all the time and that was kind of our thing and I really like the material of this it's kind of stretchy and comfy and it says it's made by he peep I don't know what he peep is it feels super duper comfy honestly if she decides she doesn't want it or whatever I will totally wear it because I am such a nerd for Sailor Moon. But yeah, it just made me think of her when I saw it. And so I wanted to include it in the review. All right, moving on. I've got these two t-shirts I got from Forever 21 that I have been wearing all the time. I really love them. I've been really liking this whole trend of wearing sort of like old band t-shirts and stuff like that because it's like you're in style, but you still get to be really comfy too. So I got this David Bowie t-shirt that you guys have probably seen you wear on Snapchat and some Instagram pics and stuff like that. It says Bowie World Tour 74 and on the back it says Bowie 74 and it's got this little cut detail in the front like it was just made at home. It's from like the actual tour back in the day and I just think it's so cute and I love that it's open right here so it has like an open neckline. You can wear a cute necklace or an accessory or something like that. And I really like that. It'd probably look really cute with that lace-up choker, actually. But I haven't worn that together yet. It's super soft. All right, and then for the last thing, I think, or no, second to last, second to last, it is another t-shirt that is the Pink Floyd one I have. This one's super cute. If I had one complaint about it, it would be that this blue, like, whenever I wear navy, I find a hard time that when I wear jeans with it, it's like the exact same shade of navy. I don't know if this bothers you guys or not, but a lot of the jeans I wear will have, like, different washes to them. They'll either be more gray or more blue or whatever, and for some reason it kind of bothers me when I wear bottoms with this and they don't match, or... I don't know. I don't know if you guys have any recommendations on what I should wear on the bottom with this, but let me know if you think of any. Um, I actually bought t-shirts that are relevant that I actually like. I know that a lot of people have been doing this trend and just wearing whatever on their shirt and they don't actually listen to them, but I really love Pink Floyd and David Bowie. So yeah, I got those. And for the last thing, it is actually the dress that I wore on my 21st birthday and it's this pink velvet lace-up dress that I got at Forever 21. Really comfy. The only problem I have with on me, 
I did get it in a small. I thought about getting it in a medium because my hips like to make dresses like right up and things like that. So it's always hard for me to find stuff that fits because the small will always fit up here in like the chest area. But as far as like my hip span and you know, my backside, stuff like that, it's kind of hard to find things that fit that mutually as well. So that's probably my one complaint about this is like as I walk over a long period of time the dress did ride up on my 21st birthday but it is also really warm. It was pretty cold on my 21st birthday and I didn't wear a jacket and I was like good to go with this thing on because the velvet is just a very hot material. Yeah, that is everything that I wanted to include in the video. I hope you guys like it. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I do more of stuff besides makeup like clothes, I really want to do a lot more fashion. I was also thinking about doing um, a what's in my bag video. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys!